in a way, I kind of found dance. Uh, I was thick in the middle of, so this is first year college, I was thick in the middle of NIIT classes at 7 a.m. going into Venkateshwara College doing BCom honors. Wow. And I saw a lifetime in front of me and I thought, this is really going to drag. Um, so just to sort of pepper it up a little bit, I went, I joined a twice a week class at Danceworks. Um, and by the end of the three years, I was barely going to college. You know, dance had sort of got me. So it grew on me really. Actually, traditionally, we don't have that kind of a relationship. In fact, if it's, if anything, it feels like dance is possibly the most apolitical of the arts. Um, also in the way that it is linked with national identity, uh, so much so that it needs to hold forth a certain image of the country. Um, there's very little room for it to begin to um, challenge the status quo uh, in the way that it's traditionally sort of structured. I think one of the reasons why w I work with the body is because one, it's my, it's my training and it's my language. But I also feel like there is a certain kind of value that is um, particular, particular to um, looking at meaning making through the body has a very different kind of a value. I think there have been people in the past who've worked with, with uh, gender, with sexuality, Naptij being one of them, um, but in a very different way. You know, there are people who've worked from within the classical um, uh, dance form tradition and being able to just subvert the codes within the, within the, within the form itself became a way to look at gender. So either you're sharing weight or there's a gaze, there's possibility of something that's about to happen which is no longer about um, about known codes really, but about the possibility of uh, um, meaning making through human contact.